If you like drawing machines, I have great news. Mr. Joe Friedman, a master of drawing machine design, has teamed up with ThinkFun to create the Hypnograph, a hand-cranked drawing machine that's easy to use yet capable of producing many hundreds, if not thousands, of elegant, complex patterns. Let's open her up and see what's inside. And here's what you get. The base with the turntable that holds the paper. This is where the drawing takes place. A wide selection of gears. Fittings that snap together onto the gears. A linkage that holds the pen that connects across the gears. Some paper, an instruction manual, and a tool to help you make the connections. Let's put it together and see how it works. First up, let's put in a piece of paper. Take your sheet of paper place it on the turntable, and I found that it's a little difficult just to put the ring on and pop it in place. So what helps is to slide one of the holding pins in place, and that gives you enough clearance to pop the rest of them. After you make the drawing, uh, popping these off can be difficult for the first dozen times or so until the, uh, the pins loosen up, but after that, it comes off real easy. Place it in the center hole. Now we'll put on our drive gear. Attach one of the base mounts. Just push it into the center. There's an oval. Set that in a groove. Move it until it just engages. And then use your tool like a screwdriver to rotate it until it's tight. Pop in a handle and you've got your drive. Next, let's add a 30 tooth gear to this side. This is one of the simplest setups that are included in the instruction book. Now we'll put a 41 tooth gear on the opposite side. And you can see why I like this machine. It's just, it's just simply snaps together and that's it. Take the armature Place the hole on this side, the slider on this side, and that's it. You're ready to go. One thing I'd like to ask you to do, if you're a serious drawing machine hobbyist, is please don't dismiss this as a toy simply because of its low price and the fact that it's made out of plastic. I've made and purchased many different types of drawing machines, yet this one is quickly becoming my favorite. It's just so easy to use and yet it's so versatile. It produces so many great looking images. But let's start turning a crank and see what we got. But first, a couple of hints that'll help make it work even better. Sometimes the pen doesn't always make good contact with the paper. I found that adding two large washers like this gives it just enough weight so you get a better trace. Sometimes also the gears will tend to rock. Uh, this is not a bad part of the design, it's inevitable because as the armature pushes against the gear, it creates a torque that's going to naturally make the gear want to twist and sometimes you have uh, meshing problems with the teeth. It doesn't matter whether you spend $30 or hundreds of dollars on a drawing machine. This is a persistent problem, which is easily solved just by adding a couple more washers here. All you have to watch out for, though, is on the sliding end that the washer doesn't bump up against the pen holder arm, or it could create a dip in the design. Another thing is pens often get a little glob of ink on the tip and if you start the drawing just by clicking the tip down and start off you can get an ugly spot so what I recommend doing is placing a piece of paper under it clicking down and then as you start cranking draw this paper away and you'll get a nice clean start to your line let's get going I recommend a slow steady turn if you go too fast, 
you can uh, get lines that aren't solid and you'll lose some of the detail on your trace. And there we go. I've zoomed in so we can see the design a little bit better. Take this off. And that's what we've got, which is a pretty neat design. Now, this is one of the simplest gear setups, and yet look at how complex this pattern is. What I can't emphasize strongly enough is that this thing can produce hundreds of designs with these same gears. Let me show you why. Here's a matrix of traces that I made using that same basic gear setup. The one we just made would be about here. All I did to create these different patterns, and you can see how varied they are, is move the pen armature in and out or along the armature linkage here. Each of these are only different by about a half an inch of movement on the armatures. So you can see how much of a change is made just by sliding the armature from this position half an inch over to this side to create that image. Half an inch over from here creates a completely different image. And this is just a very little sampling of the wide variety of images you can get from just those two gears without going to any of the other gears. We have over a dozen gears. So if you figure maybe two dozen images, unique images, that are different enough to be significant from one set of gears, and you have probably over 200 different co gear combinations you can put together with this machine, you get an appreciation for just how wide the range of image types you can be created with it. And then things get even weirder. Let me show you why. This matrix of drawings was made with the drive pin on the pen armature on the red gear. If all I do is take this off and reverse it like that. No other, no other changes except to turn the pen around so it can hit the paper. You get a completely set of images. Let me show you. This is what you get. Completely different from this set with the same gears. The only difference is the armatures were changed and you get it's unbelievable, and this is just a sampling of the matrix. I mean, I have all of this to fill in. So, if you're looking for an inexpensive drawing machine that does a great job and it's easy to use, I highly recommend the Hypnograph. I've had a lot of fun with this machine, and I look forward to using it a lot more. If you'd like to see videos of my other drawing machines, some of which I've made and some of which I've bought and reviewed, uh, please visit my main website, waynesthisandthat.com. And as always, thanks a lot for watching.